today's khutbah about the position of the human being in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. <coughs> Respected brothers and sisters, when, whenever Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wants to create something, just Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, kun, be, then it is. Allah said in the Holy Quran, "Innama amruhu ida arada shay'an an yakul lahu kun fayakun." Whenever he intends a thing, he needs only to say "be" and it is. But Allah Subhanahu wa Taala created Adam alayhi salatu wasalam, the first human being. Allah Subhanahu wa Taala never said "kun." Wa Adam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created Adam alayhi salatu wa salam in his own hands. The dalil, Qala ya iblisu ma mana'aka an tasjuda lima khalaqtu bi yaday. Allah said, O Iblis, what prevented you from prostrating to that which I created with my hands? I created Adam with my hands. I have ordered to prostrate uh, Adam. Why did not do it? Astakabarota am kunta minal alamin. Are you too proud? Or are you one of the high exalted? Why did not do the sujood to the Adam? In this verse, prove that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Created Adam alayhi salatu wasalam by e, by own hands. Respected brothers and sisters, Allah Azza wa Jal said, "Huwa aladhi khalaq lakum ma fi al-ard jamia." Allah created the skies, the land, the mountain, the sea, whatever Allah created, every single things only for the human being. This is the respect for the Bani Adam. Allah Azza wa Jal said, وَلَقَدْ كَرَّمْنَا Bani Adam. Verily, we have honored the children of Adam. Children of Adam does not mean only the Muslim, only the Mu'min. Children of Adam mean the Muslim, the Christian, the Jewish, the Hindus, every single people. They are the creation of Allah. All of them are the sons of Adam. But innama akramakum indallahi atqakum Who is most respected person in the sight of Allah? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, If you have the taqwa, fear Allah, you are most honorable person in the sight of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. My dear respected brothers and sisters, Allah given the option to the other human, other Creation of Allah, the choice. Allah did not give the choice to the angels to do good or bad. All the time they are obeying the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Angels are busy to obey the command of Allah. But Allah given the choice to the Bani Adam, the children of Adam. Allah said, Inna hadaynahu sabila imma shakiran wa imma kafura. Indeed, we have guided him to the way. Be he grateful or ungrateful. Be grateful or ungrateful. There is a choice. The Bani Adam, the children of Adam, maybe they are grateful to Allah or they are not grateful to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You can choose your path, right or wrong. He has given you the choice. My dear respected brothers, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala given the oath in the Holy Quran, وَالتِّينِ وَالزَّيْتُونِ وَطُورِ سِينِينَ وَهَذَا الْبَلَدِ الْأَمِينَ By the fig and by the olive and Mount Sinai and this secure city of Makkah. Indeed, we have created humans in the best forms. In the best forms. The human being are the best creation of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is the dalil. My dear respected brothers and sisters. In the other side, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, No, some human beings, they are worse than the animal. 
واستر دان دا انيمول دليل ولقد ذرانا لجهنم كثيرا من الجن والانس لهم قلوب لا يفقهون بها الله said and we have created many jinns and men for hell they have heart in which there is no understanding they have hearts but this heart does not have ability to understand what is right what is wrong what is the command of allah what is not the command of allah this heart can understand the eye the eyes they do not see we allah given the eyes but by this eyes they can't see what is right and what is wrong ولهم اذان لا يسمعون بها but they have ears and they, the ears they do not hear with ulaika kal an'am allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said they are like a cattle in fact more astray their respected brothers and sisters well, i'm going to ask you my dear brothers and sisters the value of the things is increasing in this world but the value of the human being is not increasing thereby there is decreasing in this week to innocent child killed by the someone in this country and other countries as well shooting bombing people are killing one another even in the jungle the animal one animal does not kill the other animal but human being unfortunately fluently see again and again again and again thousand ten thousand hundred thousand they are still killing in this modern world allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said man qatala nafsan bi ghayri nafsin aw fasadin fil ard whoever kills a person except as a punishment for murder or mischief in the land allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said it will be we will be written in his book of deeds allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said wa man ahyaha fa ka'annama ahya an-nas jami'a as if he had killed all the human beings on the surface of the earth and allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said and whoever will save a life shall be regarded as if he gave life to all the human beings on the surface of the world respected brothers and sisters we will not just respect to the muslim once a jewish dead body was passing beside the prophet muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam he stood up with respect the companion asked oh prophet of allah this is the jewish dead body prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam said he is a human being subhanallah this is the lesson from our bilal prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam we have to respect all the human beings regarding the color whatever brown or black or white or hindus or bodhos or christian anyone is a human being we have to respect this is the lesson from our life of muhammadur rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam may allah give us good understanding and may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us the respectable life in this world may allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant the honor of the son of adam barakallahu lana wa lakum fil quran al azim wa nafa'na iyyahu bil ayati wa zikril hakim innahu ta'ala jawwadun karim malikum barullah aqibat lil muttaqin wa salatu wa salam ala nabiyyina wa habibina wa maulana muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabihi wa ahli baytihi ajma'in اما بعد فقد قال ربنا جل وعلا في شأن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم ان الله وملائكته يصلون على النبي يا ايها الذين امنوا صلوا عليه وسلموا تسليما اللهم صل على محمد وعلى ال محمد كما صليت وباركت على ابراهيم وعلى ال ابراهيم انك حميد مجيد اللهم ايد الاسلام والمسلمين اللهم انصر اخواننا المسلمين في كل مكان يا رب العالمين اللهم احفظ اخواننا المسلمين في غزه وارحم اخواننا المسلمين في البنغلاديش وارحم اخواننا المسلمين في كل بلاد يا رب العالمين اللهم ارحمنا فانك خير الراحمين اللهم انصرنا فانك خير الناصرين اللهم اغفر لنا فانك انت الغفور الرحيم ربنا تقبل صلاتنا وسلامنا وجمعتنا وخطبتنا وصدقاتنا كما تقبلت من عبادك الصالحين يا مقلب القلوب ثبت قلوبنا على دينك يا مصرف القلوب صرف قلوبنا الى طاعتك ربنا هب لنا من ازواجنا وذرياتنا قرة 
أعين وجعلنا للمتقين إماما اللهم حرم جسادنا من النار وارزقنا الجنة بغير حساب يا رب العالمين اللهم ثبتنا على صراط المستقيم من النبيين والصديقين والشهداء والصالحين اللهم ارضوا عن السحابة أجمعين الخلفاء الراشدين المهديين أبو بكر الصديق رضي الله تعالى عنه وعمر بن الخطاب رضي الله تعالى عنه وعثمان بن عفان رضي الله تعالى عنه وعلي بن أبي طالب رضي الله تعالى عنه والحسن والحسين رضي الله تعالى عنهما اللهم إنا نسألك الجنة وجنة الفردوس اللهم إنا نسألك الجنة وجنة الفردوس يا أيها الإخوان اتقوا الله قد تقاته ولا تموتن إلا وأنتم مسلمون عباد الله رحمكم الله إن الله يأمر بالعدل والإحسان وإيتاء ذي القربى وينهى عن الفحشاء والمنكر والبغض يعذكم لعلكم تذكرون اذكروا الله العظيم الجليل يذكركم ودعوه يستجب لكم سبحان ربك رب العزة عما يصفون وسلام على المسلمين والحمد لله رب العالمين